all right coach a big smile on your face at the final whistle um a job well done and at a, a, a tough tough game Oh, how did it feel for you guys to steal at three points um, in the dying moments of the game? I thought we played well within ourselves, you know, we made it a little bit difficult as the game progressed. I think we might have got that goal a bit early in the match, um, the free kick from Banzi, and I think that, you know, we sat back after that. And that's always a complacency that creeps into teams when they take the lead. Um, in the second half, though, um, the result of their equaliser, I thought that the referee put it got it wrong with that throw in there and it discombobulated us and as a result they were able to launch a quick fire attack and, and equalize but you know the team stayed composed we made some changes in the second half brought on some um, personnel and they you know they paid dividends and that's what you want when you make changes that players must come on and have an effect and it was really good to see um, young Javon Smith get the um, all important clincher um, in time added on so you know three points and that's what we wanted we wanted to stand around on a positive note and continue some consistency so this sets you up then coach in terms of what you are you're, you're looking for for this round yeah definitely i mean you know you know that's one of the things we decided that you know we want to be consistent in this round and there's no better way to start the round and getting three points and we want to see if we can continue this um, winning mentality i'm just step up for you again tonight coach or you have to say about Mr. Bandy performance? Always, you know, um, Andrew has been doing it for years. He's not the first, my namesake. So, mm -hmm. you know, he, he, you know, he always um, steps up, you know, and, you know, he practices these free kicks at training religiously. So, um, when he scores them, it's not a surprise to me. I think it was well taken. And we need him in the game to, um, when we get some of our set players opportunities. Uh, I thought that we should have done a lot better today with our set players. We got numerous corners and free kicks outside the box. and. Some of the headers we blocked our own headers, so you know we have to be more clinical. But I like how we're setting up ourselves when we already know our set players. Certainly, the number one dead ball specialist in the league for you, though. Coach. Oh, definitely. You know, I mean, he, he reminds me of um, Jeremy and you. You know, money whenever he steps over it. So you know, um, you know, whenever we got a free kick and Vance is over it, you know, I I, I know I'm sit, sit easy. Fifty percent win rate so far this season. Certainly a far cry from what we saw last season. What are some of the contributing factors? I think it's the, the blend of the youth and experience. You know, we have a lot of experienced players who have played the league for a number of years and we are injecting a lot of youngsters. Today we had um, Kareem Bryan playing his first match um, in many moves, another youngster. Um, Javon Smith came off the bench and you know, you know, we blend them with the experienced people like um, Clennon, um, Vance, Virgo has been giving us yeoman service at the right fullback, you know, so chambers, you know, so a lot of the experienced players are putting their influence on the game with the young players and I think as a result of that we're having a, a good, good comrade within the squad and you know we want to move on from here. Yeah,